use. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about course play here. And I am on version 7.0.0.17. And the big thing is when you come in, you're going to hit your little helper wheel. You're going to create a job, field work. You're going to pick your point that it's going to start at. And then you're going to open course generator. And you guys can mess with everything in here. I like to set mine on land so it will always have a, the auger open to unload. Then you're going to generate course. Now you let it go through, it's going to freeze your game, freak everything out for a bit. Once you got it set, you can close and start job. Now usually what I do is I start the job and I close hit H right away so it stops them. This is the big thing recently with course play that you're going to want to change is you come down here into your key bindings. And you'll see course play section right here. And you can see I've already adjusted it. These two are blank. So open and close vehicle setting display and also course play start stop driver. He has taken it away from the key binding of just H. So we can still use the in-game helpers. But I put it to control H and this one to control D. Control D brings this up and from the beginning when you first get it it is set to first waypoint we can always change that in all the settings with that being said he is going to drive up to the first waypoint and go around now what I like to have it set at its nearest and you can see you're working with you can adjust that here and the tool offsets now you just hit escape or the back button takes you out of that. I'm going to go up here and uh, oh yeah, it folded it. I'm going to go up here just a little bit farther. I'm going to show you guys control H will hire the worker from right where we're at. No issues, and he's going to go right around. Since I did nearest waypoint, he's just going to skip this area. And that was my doing when I set the point that you pick right here to start the field, because I've already messed with this a little bit. Then the other big thing um, right here are courses. So I'm going to delete this one. And then we are going to go back to change mode and I am going to go save course. Then you're going to go activate right here. You want to save course, activate then you can put in what you want so it saves the course and all you'll have to do then is come right back in and set it to whatever key binding you have it set to now the other important part to get them to work right is come down to combine settings and make sure that you have unload on first headland deactivated unless you have enough room in between and around your field and then you guys can switch all this stuff however you want it works very simple and a little bug that I found right away is going through this menu is not always the best way you can see I got another course play guy up there and usually when I would hit cancel job I'd have to hit it twice before I could restart this one well, that was canceling this course play and my other one up here. Throwing off a little bit. So, definitely switch your key bindings around so you can get in the other views. And I will have more course play.
coming at you with a couple more pieces of equipment all in one field. I'm going to set this up so I have two combines in one field and figure out the auger wagon side of it. We might be doing the auger wagon through auto drive and once I have that figured out I will be bringing a video to you guys on how to make everything work. As of right now I just have auto drive unloading the combine which works perfect because I'm running the gravity wagons. As I keep finding more out I will keep making videos and keeping an eye out on github.com with course play and we'll go from here. Thanks for watching until next time.